Hey folks, I'm attorney Roger P. Foley and today as I'm driving into the office, I'm going to talk about ride along, get along. Now that, that's a phrase that I've heard, but I've never followed. And why do I bring that up? I had a case not too long ago in a jurisdiction far, far away. And my client was charged with trespassing on a construction site, which is a felony. My client had indicated that he was simply looking at houses in the neighborhood that were being built and kind of wanted to check it out. Didn't go in, didn't steal anything, didn't do anything. Um, while he was in the backyard um, looking at the property, took a leak. And apparently a neighbor came out and saw him doing that and called the police. Police show up. Now the woman takes a picture. You know, we had a woman like that in my neighborhood back on Earl Street in Central Iceland. We called her Nosy Rosie. Nosy Rosie would be looking outside, you know, being in everybody's business. She knew all the gossip. Well, this neighbor was like Nosy Rosie. And she, uh, she took pictures of him and took pictures of his car and his license plate as he was leaving. Anyway, police show up. And uh, they do a full investigation. They look at tire marks and, you know, it, it's a new cop. So, you know, he wants to find the serial killer or whatever. So he meets with the contractor. He meets with the owner. He gets the finger, the, the prints. He, he checks the house to see if there's any fingerprints if he was trying to get in. That okay, guy, eager beaver. Well, during one of the interviews he interviews the woman he interviews um the contractor you interviews the owner and the contractor says yeah well you'll come on over we'll show you and the cop's got his body camera on video and this video is hey let me show you around the property let me show you you know where where the footprints were you know like okay well in the background of the video the cop's looking to the right there's a guy over to the left, and that guy is putting up signs that says, no trespassing, construction site. As the cops there, and then you hear the contractor go, yep, yep, we had signs all around, you know, the whole time, and, and he should have known it's a posted site, and the cops taking pictures of, and I'm going, cuckoo, cuckoo. So, of course, I diagram, I screenshot each page, I go to the prosecutor and I go, hey, this is what's going on. She's like, she gets on the phone with me. She's like, you know what? I'm so happy. You know, a defense attorney that actually takes the time, you detailed, you oriented, you are right to the point. You know, we've been on the phone eight minutes. I know exactly what's going on, why you think I have no case. And I tend to agree, but I got to go to some supervisors. Okay. She goes, but look, the case should be dismissed in a couple of days. I'll send you the paperwork. Um, if you don't see it, then, you know, just contact me in a few, you know, a week and I don't, the case isn't dismissed. I, she's busy. Then I email and then she doesn't respond. And then I email again and she doesn't respond. Then I, I call and send an appointment with her assistant and her assistant schedules the appointment, but then she doesn't show. She forgot about it. And, and I start to get frustrated because I'm going, I just file a motion to dismiss, right? But it takes time, you gotta get a court, it's a lot of work, right? You gotta put the case law and the memorandum and the facts, and I don't mind doing it, but it's like kind of Captain Obvious um, that the case should be dismissed. Well now, I start to work on that project because I'm not getting a response from you know the state attorney assigned. And I go, hey, I, I don't know what's going on. And, and she's not, I mean, just not responding. And we're talking weeks. It's like, you know, and I don't call or email every day, but you know, three to five days. And then I said, hey, you know, did you get my last email? Please, please confirm receipt and doesn't happen. And I talk about this because ride along, get along. Well, she finally responds in an email and goes, you know what, we're, I'm, I'm bringing it past the, the sex crimes division because, uh, you know, it might be a sex crime there, you know, with him, uh, you know, urinating or having, 
you know, his pants unzipped when he was in the backyard. And I go, what? Like, yeah, they might charge it as a sex crime. And I'm going, so you know, now I don't, I don't do any more sex cases. I really don't like to do sex cases. I got to be really convinced that you're a good person for me to do a sex case. And I'm going, this poor bastard's going to get stuck with a sex case because I don't know. And the prosecutor says to me, oh, this cop's really got it out for this guy. And I'm going, huh? Why? Like, you know, anyway, I start to put all my thoughts down and then you write, you come back to it, you rewrite, you can condense it down. And, and I say, listen, I, I just, I'm starting to have some concerns. We had, an, we had a very nice conversation two months ago, three months ago. During that conversation, I laid out how your case didn't hold water. You seemingly agreed, but said, hey, I gotta run it by a supervisor. You don't respond for however many emails and phone calls and don't show up for our meeting. And then when you do email me back, you say you're sending it to the sex division, sex crimes division, for them to take a look at it. For And I'm thinking, for a guy taking a leak? So, I, I just have concerns of what's going on here? And that got a response from the prosecutor. Oh, you're saying I'm unethical? I don't know what I'm saying. I'm saying that I got some concerns, lady. Like, get with your professionalism. I said, either do it or like, here, I'll just send my motion to dismiss over. Because I'm a firm believer, folks. Like, remember I played ball at Alabama. We'll run the same play 65 times and say, we're gonna run this play. Put our best against your best. Let's see if you can stop it. I boxed. I said, I'm gonna drop you with a body shot. I'm telling them what I'm gonna do. Stop it. If you're good, if you're better, stop it. If your case, if your facts are better in a criminal case, stop it. You can't. If, if I'm filing a motion to dismiss, that means that there are no aspects of the facts that are in dispute, right? That means everything. I mean, I have a video of them putting a posting up. Then I have people lying saying <laughs> that, oh yeah, the signs are up. Like you see the guy putting them up in the background of the video. It's, it's mind boggling. And then it's a sex case because what the, because the cop made a mistake. I mean, I ride along, get along. A lot of people ask me, do you know this judge? Do you know this prosecutor? Know them all. Don't care if any of them like me, love me, hate me. I'd appreciate it if they like me. I appreciate it if they respect me. But if I'm a ride along, get along, they're gonna be like, hey, Raj, high five. Hey, you wanna go drink a beer? Like, no, I'm a thorn in your side. And I was a thorn in this lady's side. I said, look, I'm just gonna file my motion to dismiss. You know what happened? After I sent her the motion, two days later, no pros, case dismissed. Ride along, get along. Maybe in some things, not in, not in criminal defense.